In this video we will review the filters block. It has four types – color, text, vendor and product type. Color and size filters work based on the product text, vendor and product type work based on the product vendor and type fields respectively. Now let's add a color filter based on the product text. We'll entitle it Color Product Tag and set type of the filter Colors. Then we can add the list of color items using separator. We want to change the direction to rows and also remove the position of the filter block. Now we can save our changes and review how the filter works. Please note, when you select the pink color, the filter shows the sunglasses product that doesn't have product variants. But if to review this product at the back end, we can see that it has a pink tag. Let's add another filter by product tag, which is size. We will also give the title size product tag and select type of the filter tags. In the items we will add our sizes. Now let's see how the size filter works. We will apply one size filter and here it shows the product without the selected size variant. But the product has this size as a tag. So we should sync product variants and product tags to fix this mistake. It looks good now. As an option, we can show all product tags for current filter block by enabling an option Show all tags from collection. We want to add a new block and select an option Show all tags from collection. As you can see, all product tags appeared in the new filters block. We will add another block and select type vendors for this block. Here you may set the list of items or use the show all options as well. We also want to review the work of filter by product types. So we will change settings in the current block 
and see what we have got. That's it. Thank you for being with Shalom.